Hello and welcome to this session on logging activities against accounts contacts uh, in the Dynamics database. We'll also show you how you can track email communications with your contacts, accounts, leads or opportunities. So first of all, if I go to open up an account or contacts record, You'll notice that you've got this section in the middle of the screen known as the social pane where you have a section here for adding activities. If I wanted to, I could select the option here to add a phone call and then could add into here called Acme regarding pricing. And this time we'll just leave this as an outgoing call and click OK. Generally though, what we'd recommend doing is being a little bit more precise than this. Rather than adding this communication against the accounts, we'd recommend going to the individual contacts like so. And I'll just show you the uh, reason why now. Because if I select some activities, if I select add phone call and add in called Peter Smithson about prices. And select OK. We can see this against Peter Smithson, but also if you go to Acme's record, what we can see is that that phone call has rolled up. So we'd recommend adding this communication all against the contacts. That's what we're going to see for the rest of the uh, session. So we've seen there how we can add in a record of an outgoing call, like so. If we wanted to record the fact that they called us, we can select add phone call. We can then add into here, Peter called in, and asked for a price of 3000. And then to change this to be an incoming call, all that we need to do is just select this icon here marks as outgoing and we'll select incoming. And then you'll see this is incoming. If we hover our cursor over it, we can see it's incoming and it's got this slightly different icon uh, appearance like so. In this same section, we can also log the fact that a voicemail has been left. And to do that, we just need to select add phone call. We can then add into here and we'll add into here message left. To say we cannot go as low as 3000 but could look at 3,200. And now before we select OK, we'll just tick this box here, the left voicemail. We'll select OK. And now you can see we've got a slightly different icon for the voicemail, uh, like so. And anybody who comes in and glances at this record uh, can quickly get an idea of the history and the communications that have gone on. Now that's, that's how we can add phone calls in um, that as they're happening. We can just select the phone call, add the details in like so. Now what I haven't mentioned in here is the due dates. The reason I haven't mentioned that is because even if we put something in the due dates, as soon as we select OK when they carry out those actions, it marks the phone call as complete. So we're going to take a slightly alternative approach for creating a phone call in the future. And to do that, we're just going to select this option here, marked as Add Task. And we'll just add into here. Call Peter on the 9th of April. And then we'll select the due dates. We'll click the drop down arrow, select 9th of April, 
and select OK. And that's now scheduled um, a task uh, to call Peter on this date. Now, I appreciate you're not necessarily going to go to individual contacts and um, you know view uh, those contacts to see if there's a task available. So there is a central place for all of your activities and that can be found just by selecting the drop down arrow for sales, selecting activities, and then from here you can then see uh, that we can filter this, we can then see our tasks accordingly. Now I could open this up, add in a description and select mark complete uh, and that would then mark the item as closed. Alternatively, if I just wanted to use a little shortcut to complete the activity, it could be completed from the contact list on here. So if we didn't want to put any, in any more detail, we could just select complete and that will mark uh, that task as being complete. So that's how we can add in tasks, voicemails, phone calls, how they can be added into Dynamics. What I'm going to show you now is how you can use uh, the app that will connect your email to Dynamics and how you can track and set regarding on your appointments uh, and your emails. So from here, I'm just going to select an email here which is from uh, a user in the database. And because they're a recognized user, we can now see that that email is now tracked regarding that particular contact. Um, and that's happened automatically. If I change my mind, I can select change and then untrack. If I select track in here, I then have to search for my contacts again. And then I can set regarding. If I don't want to track it, I can select untrack. And that's all that we need to do um, to ensure that when we send out an email to somebody, it will show in its activity section. Um, if it's found them, you may well find that it's tracking automatically. If not, you'll have a little option here just to set regarding and search for the individual contacts. And that's how we can track emails in Dynamics. It's exactly the same procedure. If you wanted to track an appointment uh, in Dynamics, we can simply select the option there uh, to set regarding and untrack. Now that we've seen that, I just wanted to show you uh, a few settings uh, just in relation to how Dynamics behaves with email. And these settings can be set up just here where you see my cursor flashing. If we select this option and then go to options. And then if you select email, See here where it says track, there's various ways that you can configure your email um, to behave in relation to um, automatic tracking. The top option will track every single email message that you receive. Um, it's not recommended because it will track internal email messages, uh, it will track personal email messages, it will track advertising mail and so forth. Um, so unless there's a very good reason to, uh, we wouldn't recommend using that setting. Uh, the second one down is the defaults, all email messages in response to Dynamics 365 email. Now what that means is if you send something out and track the email, then the reply will automatically be tracked. Um, every other piece of mail is left alone. The third option down is also quite a practical one um, to track all email messages from Dynamics 365 leads, contacts and accounts. What that means is if there's a recognized contact against the email that you send out, uh, it will track that email against them. 
likewise for the accounts. Um, and that's quite a practical setting on there. Um, so it's worth considering which one you want to use. We would, however, recommend unticking create contacts from the send or organizer of tracked email messages. Uh, the reason being is that if you've, uh, say, got a colleague who organizes uh, an email or meeting and uh, they track it, uh, then what it will do, if you have that option selected, is when you receive the email from them, it will then add them to the database. Um, now, the problem with that is that then you'll see emails tracked against them. Uh, you'll see potentially internal emails ending up in the database. So we'd strongly recommend unticking this option here. We'll then select OK. And that's how we can track activities and emails directly into the database.